<clears throat> Test. What's up guys, it's me, Absolute Potato, and don't ask me where I've been. I've been living it up at the club, partying all day and all night. And by living it up in the club, I mean I've been having a depressive episode in my bedroom alone, contemplating my life decisions. Why did I make a YouTube channel? April Fools, gotcha. There's no way I'm gonna be clubbing during Ramadan. Are you kidding? We keep it halal all the time here on this channel. Alhamdulillah, I keep it halal all the time. And what other way to keep it halal? I'm playing the most halal country of them all. The most halal country of them all. France. If you're a returning viewer, then you already know that this is multiplayer. Yes, I love playing multiplayer. I personally prefer it over single player. And yes, we're using a balance mod because, hey, EU4 vanilla meta is really boring. In this mod, the major change for our start is that we start with Bordeaux and both Bordeaux and Normandy have extra provinces. Also, if England holds Normandy, they get 10% infantry combat ability. Our opener was very standard. We started by attacking Provence, we allied Castile, so we could cover that front, and then we attacked Brittany, and then we bought Normandy from England. You might be wondering, why would England give up Normandy? Well, basically England has the choice of scaling and getting money from France for losing their Normandy land, or basically fighting a death war for a war that they will probably lose. The next step I did was I released Provence, and then of course I had to make my vassals loyal. But the reason why I released Provence is because we're eating so much land so fast that if we uh, just eat it and we court it, we would fall behind really hard in admin points, which are very, very important in the early game. The next thing that we did was deal with aggressive expansion by improving relations using the established communities mechanic with merchants. We're gonna switch him now to here. Start improving relations with people in there. What? And there's a Hesse, and there's a Brandenburg, and there's a Swiss, and there's an Austria. Are you hostful? Oh, okay. I don't. I don't understand why the mod maker makes it so France, England, Burgundy can't ally, but they can ally Castile. Castile kind of the kingmaker then. Castile will have too much problems. Castile has too much problems to actually help. Yeah, France. This is more of like a... Like, I'm not gonna attack you, you won't attack me kind of deal. There you go. Nice. The coalition's gonna die. So I told very, you two very years. Democratic I told you, two years and the coalition will go. Famous last words, Habibi. That's how I imagine you sound. Now that my AI coalition was dying down, and we had consolidated pretty nicely, it was now time to deal with the Burgundy player. Yes, Burgundy was a player, and is a player, and uh, I basically asked him straight up, are you going to give up your French lands, or am I going to have to fight you for them? Burgundy in this mod has two options. Basically, they can contest France and form Lotharingia, or they can give up their French lands and form Netherlands. Both are very viable options. This Burgundy chose to fight. Once we had Tech 5, as well as the age bonus for bonus combat on our capital terrain, we went in and declared for Aslan Province. We also Golden Era to help us ensure a swifter victory. Hey Lois, this guy just subbed to the skin to EU you four player, absolute Habibi. Help and see. The first battle took place on Burgundy's capital. Wow, he committed hard. We're gonna need more troops. Is there like any vassal? Do I want to annex my vassals? I do, right? Or just keep Bro, them around? I don't know, man. I have in a war. I don't know, man. No, no, I'm not asking you. You don't want to ask for him. Even in a coalition, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> oh, man. Burgundy doesn't probably have the uh, edge bonus. <laughs> I actually do. I have no AT. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's a good excuse. I don't. You just need to not retreat the battle, you get AP. Yeah. I'm actually winning this one though. Man, I don't think you need to like actually lose battles. Are the other ones sleeping? Mamluk's got mm. all of the all of the people there. I told you. Did this guy like take out all of his mercs? Uh, we're gonna need another stack or two. Oh, oh, that was a big sack wipe.
One of my vassals breached. What a pa what a, va a Chad vassal. They breached for me. Time for some diplomacy. Uncon and I won't take money and you can form Netherlands and we can be friends. Smoily. If not, I will take money in peace and I'll truce break to kill. Smoily again. Oh, it, it worked. Nice. And we only took 4k debt. That's actually really good. That's actually really good. Look, we only took 4k debt, chat. 18 loans out of our max loans of 56. I may, I want to go colonial France. I'm going to go for uh, Canada first. He stuck to the deal. That's, he stuck to the deal. Form Netherlands. He didn't try to kill me. And now with the French heartland secured, a diplomat from Morocco came to our ears. And he asked for our help against Castile, whose entire army was in Africa. Looking back, right now would have been perfect for me to just sit back, develop my lands, and consolidate while also building buildings. We're already the number one dev. But hey, is it the absolute Habibi channel if we don't find some stupid way to throw a big advantage? Of course not! So we join Morocco's war against Spain. Here we go. Never lucky with the sieges. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. Dude, much higher morale. I'm shattering. He's shattering. He's shattering. I'm shattering. I'm shattering. More. I'm shattering. Jesus Christ, dude. The battles were incredibly close every single time. But the Spanish quality shined through. Annex Scotland, because you can annex it or you can integrate it by forming GP later. Okay, so. So? Nice, okay. we're fighting on our terrain yeah, bonus. I'm not, I'm not. Have you done? Come on. Poland has Berlin. <laughs> it's gonna be a 20 year war oh my god okay uh, do you know that's why oh Uh, and England's here. Oh my god. Oh no, I'll just uncon to their side. With my ally Morocco bankrupting, I was now stuck in a 1 versus 4 situation. Portugal, Spain, Netherlands, and England were all at war with me. We ended up accepting the Dutch's demands. Spain unconditionally surrendered shortly after. Yeah, yeah. Alright. Uh... Shortly after our W, Spain went bankrupt. And I was thinking, yeah, why not? Let's just truce break him. But I totally forgot that England and Netherlands both can just ally Castile. I wasn't able to siege Castile fast enough, and there was no way that I would be able to win two versus one versus England and Netherlands especially with my manpower reserves dwindled and my mercenaries completely exhausted. We had to give in to someone's demands in order to be able to stab hit Spain since we did not siege him fast enough and now we were getting fully sieged. So we accept England's deal and we called in Swiss versus 
Burgundy, or Netherlands. England smelt blood in the water, and truce breaked immediately after. We started trying to stab Hit Castile here, uh, just so we can be in a war against uh, England alone, which Spain eventually accepted. But now we were max loans fighting against England. I had no mercs left unless for another two years and I had no manpower left and no army professionalism. So this was going to be very close to impossible. We stacked every single modifier we could get and we focused down the straggling AI versus England initially. We were able to get two miniature stack wipes in this manner. With some clever maneuvering, we were able to get a good minus one battle against the English forces. And not only that, we were able to cut off the reinforcements. And because of that, we were able to win with much less numbers. Yeah, 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 yeah. I didn't declare any of the initial wars, so... <laughs> yes. 5.3 to morale. And stack wipe! And stack wipe! But it didn't matter. One battle, which actually looked like we were going to win, ended up going very badly for us. And in a very sad manner, we ended up getting double stack wiped. And that was the last of the French army. We lost another war against England. And not only that, when we bankrupted, Castile declared war on us and took back his Iberian land. All of that war for nothing. My biggest mistake here wasn't that I attacked Spain. It was that I didn't make sure Burgundy was dead first before attacking Spain. But that's a for diplomacy for you. Someone might say, hey, let's do a deal. And they'll say, totally, yeah, let's do the deal. But in the end, they might just backstab you and gank you. And honestly, this is a very recoverable position. Um, and I could have won because the Castile player actually didn't show up the next session. And uh, the Netherlands player ended up losing a one versus one to Swiss and ended up losing to Swiss. And the England player actually bankrupted fighting the French AI. Uh, the only reason why I didn't continue to play was because one of my good friends invited me to a Hoi 4 game and I actually was really craving to play Hoi 4. That video is coming out later. But that's the end of this campaign. Um, if you want to see me play France again, I actually want to play France again. This time we won't have the, we won't make the same mistake. We will make sure Burgundy is dead if we ever try to attack Spain. And we will have a good game. That's all for this video. I know the editing, maybe not the best on this one, but I hope you still enjoyed it. That's all I got. Check me out on Twitch, twitch.tv slash absolhabibi. The mod link is in the description, uh, and so is my Twitch, so is my Discord. Join my Discord if you want to play EU4 MP games. It's a great community, great place to play. Anyways, thank you for watching. I love you guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.